Hi YouTube, here's my 1990 Electrolux 616 Electronic Model Z616AE. Um, I got this off eBay a good few weeks ago now, um, as it got lost in the post. Um, so it was lost for about two weeks at, the, at least. Um, but I eventually got it back. Um, and I just hadn't made a video of it because I just never got round to it basically after I cleaned it. So I paid £10 for this and about £23 for postage so it was rather expensive postage but oh well what can you do. Um, I didn't get any kind of partial refund after it was lost in the post but never mind. Um, although it did pay off I suppose because it's in really good condition and the motor runs exceptionally smoothly so um, anyway um, the 616 is from the second generation of 600's um, Electrolux. Um, the original was 610 and 612 and then the, the later were the 614, 615 and 616 um, so the 616 being top of the line and this is quite a late model because the contours came out in 91 which was just a complete letdown compared to these but anyway I'll give you a bit of an overview of it so as you can see here is the cleaner head with the Electrolux letter in there bumper here at the front and there's the royal appointment it says on it by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II Suppliers of suction cleaners and, and floor polishers, Electrolux Limited, Luton Beds. You've got your four position height adjustment here. Um, very Electrolux type with the dial here. Um, you've got short. Um, sort of your short to medium. Medium. And high pile carpets. But you can use it in between any of these settings it does actually like lock in so I just normally leave it on the second to lowest one <coughs> excuse me there's your own post motor filter which oops, fortunately is still intact so I have to kind of press that down and release it I can get the filter to come off first at the cage to come off first so there's your cover these tended to snap off but they're alright on this one and um, so there's your little pad um, kind of carbon filter I guess which is supposed to stop some carbon dust getting through I don't know how well it filters but there you go that just sits in there and that goes back on Go. So moving up, we have edge brushing electronic 616. This very nice detailing here on the back door. Um, there's your piston bagful indicator. And your um, electrolux letter in there on the back door release. So if you press it bag door opens and you can actually hinge this so if you lift up slightly on it and it goes right down like that so you can change the bag easily because it's got like a lip on it there so the bag that's in it is a synthetic type bag this you can't actually get synthetic bags for the 600 series I actually converted this um, from an Airstream bag I took the collar off the Airstream bag and stuck the collar off the 600 series bags onto this so I can have higher filtration I guess and not get this dusty inside because the paper bags available for this are single layer thick and I don't want dust, a lot of dust going through to the motor but anyway there's a release button here that says press and you obviously press it there you go and release the bag just hooks on down there. Um, so anyway, that's the collar that's on these bags. Uh, sorry, well, it doesn't actually come on these bags, but 
on the 600 bags, that's the co collar that comes on it. Um, so that, yeah, there's your um, um, press bag release thing. Um, and unlike my 612, this has got like a filter cage. You open that and you've got a little space for an air freshener. It does say on top there, air freshener. Um, and now I do have a Hoover one in it, but you can just get those little disc ones from like Wilkinson's or wherever, the pound shop, and they go on onto this little thing here. So I guess so it doesn't stain your filter or whatever. So there's your little foam, well not foam, but it's like a pad filter, like a scouring pad almost. See, it's quite dirty, that's why I converted that bag. Um, anyway, that's inside there, and that just sits in there like that. Put the air freshener back in. Very satisfyingly closes shut like that. So that's your bag housing. Just put the bag back in. Everything's very satisfying clicking on this machine. Like that. And the bag door closes again. You can obviously take the whole thing off, but it's quite nice how it hinges like that. Again, clicks it shut. So you have um, quite a, like a Dyson switch, really. Um, the early um, 600s, the 610 and 612, had a clunking type switch. Um, you do have a the card and exiting on the left here which does swivel, which makes it quite convenient. On the other side you've got um, feel focus, electronic boost. Um, the variable power on this doesn't actually work. Um, I'm going to get my dad to have a look at it. I, I did try and sort it out myself, but I couldn't do it, so my dad will have a look at it for me, I'm sure. So, coming round to the back, we have our 7 metre, I believe, card with the um, quick release card hook. Um, and here you've got the lower card hook, which also serves as a carrying handle. The early 600s did have a little handle on the back door here. I don't think it was a carry handle, I just think it was um, there so you could open the back door easier. Um, so these are your onboard tools. You've got extension wand, a nice length crevice tool, and your um, two-way cleaning tool, which on this side it's a dusting brush. If you put your hose in there, and if you put your hose through here, you've got a um, upholstery tool. I don't think this has been used much because it's hard to open. So yeah, that's your upholstery tool. And you can close them slightly and do like this sides of your, you know, the edge of your stairs and the edge of your sofas and things. That just fits back on that little flimsy hook there. <clears throat> and obviously you've got your hose. It's a wider diameter than the earlier 600s because apparently it used to pull straight out of this hand grip, um, which does swivel by the way. Um, it's a nice length, it's very comfortable to use. And this does pivot if you need to uh, um, have whatever angle you need it in. It just fits neatly back at the back, like as the advert said, the vac with the hose at the back, which is what the 600s had. Um, you actually have a proper handle release pedal, unlike the contours that came later, the early contours that was. So there's your um, data sticker. So, so it says a Lux product made in Britain, Electrolux model Z616AE, product number 989.55, serial number 044008194. The 04, or sorry, 04 at the beginning of the serial number means that it was made in the 44th week of 1990. 240 volts, 50 hertz, Bieber approved, and 560 watts. And this is very 
powerful for a 560 watt motor. So before I show you in action, I will show you oops, the underside. So you have a good brush roll. It's a um, quite a um, sort of a chevron design brush roll there. Spiralish bristles, um, very stiff bristles, very good. Um, there's your height adjustment there. Rear wheels. Um, this doesn't actually have, unlike my um, 612, it actually has a defined stop when you push it forward. Did you hear that? My 612 feels, it doesn't have that clunk like that, so it, it feels like it's going to keep going. As you can see, this doesn't lean forward or back, really. So that's good. So anyway... Without further ado, I'll show you this in action. I can find a plug socket. There's one over here. So let's get some sawdust down. I'll put a bit on here for the tools. And I suppose we'll see how well it can edge clean. I'm not expecting miracles. Let's get a bit more. So, let's go. Let's get that out of the way because it will cause me some problems otherwise. Alright, so, here we go. Cleaning's like. Not very good on this sawdust, but. See, this doesn't work.
Oh, as you can hear, it runs really good. Um, the brush roll bearings um, are a bit growly, as you could hear them, sort of rattling and vibrating away in the background when I was using the tools. Um, and I think one of the screws isn't screwed on tight enough on the sill plate because I could hear a hissing noise when I was using that then. But anyway, there's my um, Electrolux 616 electronic. Um, it's a good vac and pleased to have it in my collection. So, thank you for watching.